man. What you in here doing? Oh, what's up, man? You know, doing my thing, hustling, you know, when I get a chance to do it. Yeah, what's up, though? Hey, man, I'm about to work with some motherfuckers chicken pot pie tonight. Yeah, what up, though? You want something? Oh, you about to make some motherfucking chicken pot pie, pie? Man, you know I want some motherfucking pie pie. I bet you did. Hey, look, check this out. I'm about to get it popping in the motherfucking crib. Hey, y'all, stay tuned in for this episode. I'm about to do something really special for y'all. About to make a motherfucking chicken pot pie, pie. Oh, yeah, for motherfucking scratch. Stay tuned in, y'all. All right, go ahead. I'm going to check it out in a minute, man. Let me get back to doing what I'm doing. Oh, what up, what up, what up, y'all? Look, so check this out, y'all. So first things first, on this episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib, when you're making your motherfucking chicken pot pie, get your motherfucking chicken boiling first. If you're going to add some potatoes, boil them motherfuckers too, because what that is, that's going to reduce some of your time already. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and prep up some motherfucking kale grains, and I also got some motherfucking carrots, some motherfucking broccoli, and some cauliflower, and a couple of other key ingredients. Oh, yeah, I can't forget the most important start of the motherfucking show. Some motherfucking pie crust. It don't matter what kind you use, just make sure you use the right one. So check that out. I'm going to show y'all how to do this shit. You might want to take from it. You might want to do what you got to do with it. So stay tuned with to this next episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. All right, y'all. So first things first, we're going to prepare our motherfucking chicken to be boiled. We're going to peel our motherfucking potatoes, and we're going to chop them down very fine to go in the inside of our motherfucking pot pie. Okay? So let's check and see how our motherfucking chicken is boiling. Perfect. Now over to you, big dog, Marv. What do you think? All right, so look, y'all, check this out. I got my motherfucking kale grains, right? So I'm going to chop these up because what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a broth and I'm going to add in these other vegetables after I get this motherfucking potatoes done and this chicken ready, right? Because once I put it inside of this pie crust, it's not going to be in the oven for that amount of time. But what you got to do is you got to take your motherfucking time because each ingredient takes its own time to prep, all right? So it's easy. Pay attention, y'all. Check this out. So you're going to take your kale grains. You can chop it up after you want to chop it up, me, right? So I'm going to try my best to get them all fine like that, right? Chop these babies on down, right? And what they're going to do is they're going to render. Render, I mean, they're going to get softer, smaller. You know what I mean? You're going to make it feel like you didn't put enough in there. But trust me, we don't want to stuff this motherfucking pot pie. We want to cook super easy. But right now, this is very important. Taking your motherfucking time and watching me take this motherfucking knife at. Because you don't want to cut your thumb <laughs> straight up. So check that out, right? So anybody know how to make greens or whatever? They already gonna let you know they don't take that long to cook them for real. Though. So uh, I'm gonna boil them down to about like 30 more minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take them out that water, right? With the broth or whatever. And then that's when I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my pot pie. I'm gonna put it, place it in the oven for a nice amount of time for real though. Not that long, but about like, mm, I wanna say about 15 minutes for real though. You just really wanna brown that crust. The other ingredients, they already are being done right now. So once you get done with all this, everything is already a go. So check this out, y'all. Look, if you don't know what you're doing, you might know now. So just pay attention. All right, now look, check this out. Some other key ingredients. I got some cauliflower, some carrot, some broccoli in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I got some chicken broth. I'm gonna add to it. I'm putting on a boil for a low simmer just to go ahead and soften them up. Cause I guarantee you, you don't want to mess this up. Ha 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 ha, yeah that's right motherfuckers, you do not want to mess this up. So prepare your motherfucking chicken, prepare your vegetables, and prepare your motherfucking potatoes, okay? So with that being said, it's easy as one, two, three. Now just keep an eye on your motherfucking potatoes because they've been cooling off, you don't want them to be too mushy. So season them a little bit, sit them off to the side, and keep on checking on the inside of your motherfucking pot pie, right? It's not the inside yet, but it will be. So add a little bit of flour, and a little bit of egg, and you motherfuckers good to go. Pass it over to Big Dog Mark. Came to the last part of the motherfucking process, right? The favorite motherfucking part. It's time to go on here, put our crust on top of the motherfucking pot pie. So look, check this out. It's super motherfucking easy. I already placed everything, all of the ingredients inside of my motherfucking dish, right? I'm gonna place that down like that. Put a couple of holes in there. That way you can stop it from rising up, right? You want some of the juice to come out, right? And get some air in the inside of there. All right, so check this out. All right, y'all. So now that we prepared our motherfucking pot pie, popped our holes in there, we got our crust ready. It's time to put it in the motherfucking oven. 450 degrees for about 15 motherfucking minutes, right? So after the first eight minutes, I decided to add a little bit of butter, let it cook for the remaining time. Oh, yeah. 
And this is what my motherfucking Popeye look like. So I'm going to allow this motherfucker to cool down. But in the meantime, this is what the inside of my motherfucking Popeye look like. This ain't nothing but extra motherfucking ingredients. And I'm going to enjoy it because I like to make extra food so I can chill. So stay tuned in to the next episode of Cooking at the Motherfucking Crib. Make sure you like and subscribe.